since Eden and Jessica's arrest, there have been many reports of the various charges and alleged activities and or photos that were taken that caused for their arrest. I would like to clarify that first and foremost, what took place was a cultural misunderstanding that was exacerbated by false reporting in the media. At the daytime pool party, there was no nudity at all. Some attendees were fully clothed, others in bathing suits. Eden and Jessica did not and were not producing pornography. Eden and Jessica did not and were not producing pornographic photos or videos of any kind. I did not know, nor did I think, attending the outdoor pool party would be offensive to Cambodian culture. I apologize for anyone who feels that it was. But as Francis said, when I attended the party, I was not taking part in any pornographic dancing or anything that the media suggests I was doing, and I'm very disappointed in the way I was represented. Um, I'm very happy to be home. I'm grateful to be in Canada. I look forward to seeing my family and my parents who have done absolutely everything they could to bring me home. I was equally lucky to have Jessica in there with me, and as much as I wish she didn't have to go through it, I couldn't have done it without her. I don't think we want to get too much into the details of where we're staying at this time, just until we have a bit further notice. It's still a very sensitive and private case, but it was terrifying. I think the uh, main reason it was so scary was because we obviously didn't speak the native language, so we were often very confused about what was happening. Um, but yeah. But you're now home. Yeah, we're so grateful to be home.